where you are welcome back to our training and we are going to continue with the creating or creation of combo box but before you need to, before you can create a combo box you need to activate the developer tab so i'm going to teach you how to develop the to activate the developer tab so if your developer tab is as well as the developer tab at the menu bar if your developer tab is here that means you are good to go but if yours is not there you are going to follow these steps you go to far then you click on far then you go to options you click on options then you come to customize ribbon then when you come when you open the customize ribbon uh, you look at the right side here if you can see the developer tab here then you need to take it make sure it is ticked but if it's not ticked that means it won't appear so if yours is ticked that means yours should be at the menu bar or the menu tab so if your yours is not ticked take you take it or if yours is at this side you select it then you click on the add button here it will add to the side then you can take it then after that you click on ok to be activated now we have our developer tab activated here so we are going to continue we are going to deal with the combo box first so the combo box you need to activate select the cell that you want to insert the combo box then you click on the developer tab but before you insert the combo box the one thing you need to do you need to list the, the item that you want to insert in the combo box so our item that we want to insert you we, we are going to deal with the conduct and attitude so our list of our conduct and attitude can be satisfactory can be calm and respectful true one to respectful hard work and others so we are going to list them on the blank column i mean it's a blank column so we are let's take this side because after this we are going to hide it so that it will make your system look nice so we are going to hide it that one here so now let's insert them here so the, you need to get the heading for it so this is the heading conduct conduct to uh this attitude attitude then you list the the conduct so let's say it's satisfactory satisfactory can be the first so this list depends on you or the person you are developing the, the item system for the person can give you a list of uh, a list of conduct that they, they want to appear on their terminal report so you select your own words so i'm using come satisfactory comments respectful to uh hard work or hard working hard working working and the terms are disrespectful disrespectful okay i think it will be okay now we have our list of <coughs> attitude and conduct here now let's go back to the cell so you need to activate the cell then you click on the developer tab make sure the developer tab is activated then you come to this side we call it insert insert controls so you click on the insert then we are going to select it. We don't go to form controls. We are not using form controls, even though it has a combo box here. But we are not using form controls for now. We are using Active X controls. So let's click on the. This is the combo box. The second icon. We click on it. Then you come and draw it. So let me let me draw it here. So we draw it to fix the whole cell. So we have our combo box here. Now we are going to uh, set it up so that it can take the values here. So let, let let's see where if we can you can see the values here, the values that we inserted. So you see when you click on it, you see that there's nothing. In, but we want to insert it, so you, you need to make sure your design mode is activated. Then you come and click on the properties. See then you come to this side the top here you, you click on the small arrow here you are dealing with this combo box so the combo box is here you select it then the properties will be here or straight up straight away you can just after you have 
click the example you just click on the the combo box that you drew then you click on properties the properties dialog box will appear now there are only two settings we are going to do here we don't we don't want to do any match settings here there are the only two settings we are going to do we are going to deal with the length cell and the list fill range that's the two cells two settings we are going to do so this thing will affect all the combo box that we are going to insert at this area so the length cell so which cell is the combo box linked to the combo box is linked to this cell so this is the cell that any input or anything you select will be for this cell so the cell is b b u b u4 that is the cell the link cell now the range the list range of cells that is this is the cell that it list range of cells so these are the cells that we want to, to appear when you click on the combo box so the first one is uh, c c i this c i so the, the range is what the four yes c i four then you bring your column that the whole range then the last person is what is uh c i c i 10 c i 10 that's the last person here the last on the list sorry is this c i 10 let me click it and see okay c i 9 sorry so let me go back is ci9 so where is it so let me edit it then add the nine to it ci9 good now we have our setting done now let's close it now and go back to our combo box and see what we have done now before you want to before you can test it you need to activate the design mode so let's click on design mode so that it will turn off then you click on the arrow you see the list have been activated here so the conduct is here so the satisfactory when you select satisfactory you get satisfactory here when you select hard working you, see, you get your hard working there so that is how combo box work so we are going to copy this combo box for all this area then you do some little settings so let's click on the design board anytime you want to design this thing you need to click on design before you can do it or else it you find difficult so now you select it and you click on ctrl c to copy then you paste them you did it for nine people the ten people so you paste them nine times okay so then let's arrange them properly in their respective cells So, as I've done this for the conduct, I will also want you to do that for the interest after this video. You do that for the interest, then you submit it to me. But with this, I don't want you to send screenshots. I want you to send the far, the far rather, not the screenshot. Because the screenshot will not permit me to see whether you have done the correct thing or not. Okay, so left the one, then you paste again, then you copy. Now, we have done the, set, the, the settings already, so the only thing that we want to do is the length cells. So we are going to do the length cells. For the list of range, the range, the list fill range is the same thing, but the cells, the active cells, or the length cells that we need to change them. So the first one is BU14, BU4, and the second one also will be BU5, in that order. Then the third one will be BU six so you just need to edit them and you're good to go good so when you're doing this you need to take your time or else you do petty petty mistakes yeah so so now we have able to know we are, we are, we are now good to know or we are now I would understand that how to do the com uh, the combo box. I'll urge you all to do that for the interest. 
So you list your interest before you do the combo. So the interest can be just interest in sports, uh, arts related, mathematics, or any other subject. So you do the interest for 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 me. And please, I said you need to send me the file, not the a screenshot. I need to see the file so that I can see whether you have done the correct thing or not. I'll end here and continue in our next video. Thank you for watching.